There are other factors too. Take say automation, which is putting plenty of people out of work. Uh, well, a, a lot of that actually, a lot of, some of what was designed here and machine tools and so on. Uh, it's alleged that uh, automation is, a, you know, results just from market forces. So you know, you can't stop it like the force of nature. But that's complete nonsense. The topic was studied in depth by David Noble here, no longer here, incidentally, partly for this reason. Uh, but uh, he, uh, he's teaching in Canada now. But he did the uh, main studies on what actually happened uh, in, uh, uh, in developing numerical processing and other automation techniques. And what actually happened, in fact, is that it was so inefficient that it couldn't be done through market forces and it had to be done through the state system. We have a huge state industrial system in the United States called the Pentagon. MIT is a small part of it, you know, way out at the periphery. But uh, uh, it's a technique for funneling taxpayer funds to high technology industry. And automation was developed within the state system for decades, in fact, uh, in the Navy and the Air Force and so on, where cost doesn't matter because taxpayers are paying for it anyway. Uh, and it was designed in very specific ways not to be efficient, not for economic efficiency, but for control and power. Uh, the auto, as far as the automation technology is concerned, it could be used to uh, put a decision-making power and control into the hands of skilled machinists and get rid of managers. Autom technology is perfectly happy to be used that way. Or it can be used to de-skill machinists, increase levers, levels of management. Yeah, the technology is happy that way too. It doesn't care. Uh, that's the way it was designed. And it was designed as a weapon of class war through the state system uh, because it couldn't possibly be uh, d done through market forces because of its efficiency, inefficiency. That's true of containerization. It's true of machine tools. In fact, it's true across the board. It's even true of computers.